Operation 160, episode one. It's time to make some more muscular gains. Yes, that means I am bulking. I'm currently sitting at 140 pounds. My goal weight is 160. I want to get there in about eight to 10 months, which means I am going to clean bulk. I'm gonna take it slow. A lot of people wonder the difference between clean bulk and dirty bulk. It's very simple, all right? It doesn't have to do with the food you eat. All it has to do with is the caloric surplus that you put yourself in, the extent of the caloric surplus. A clean bulk is a 10% caloric surplus. A dirty bulk is pretty much 20 and above. So I can clean bulk with McDonald's or I can dirty bulk with bananas. You get what I'm saying? All it means is how much weight you gain in a period of time. So if you're shooting for about a half a pound a week to about a pound a week, that's considered clean. But if you're going above that, that's a dirty bulk. Now don't get me wrong, you will pack on a bit more mass during a dirty bulk. You will. You will be a bit stronger during a dirty bulk. But it will be accompanied by more adipose tissue, which is just a scientific terminology for fat. Do you want to gain more fat on your bulk? The whole purpose of a bulk is to gain muscle mass, right? So when I keep it clean and try to maximize muscle gain while minimizing fat gain. Now in utopia, that's very ideal, but here you got to be pragmatic and realistic. So I would say experiment, but for the most part, clean bulk, clean bulk, clean bulk. If you feel compelled to dirty bulk, by any means, do so. You may pack on much more mass and be happy with the fluff that you have. Different strokes for different folks. The decision is up to you. I'm going to clean bulk this time around. I may dirty bulk next year. Who knows? Who knows? All right? Got to experiment, guys. I'm a fucking scientist, man. I'm a scientist <laughs> in my head. All right? And I may go and get my PhD in the future. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Don't think I'm delusional saying I'm a true actual accredited scientist. No, I'm just saying you got to be an experimental scientist in your head. You got to perform experiments, man. You get what I'm saying? I just cannot put on that much muscle that fast, so I wouldn't even put myself into that position because I'm going to end up gaining fat if I choose a dirty bulk. Now, I may experiment with the dirty bulk in the future when I first started bodybuilding and working on developing muscle mass. I did go for a pound a week but I got really freaking fat. But then again, my training was terrible and I didn't have much knowledge. I was very naive and I was a neophyte in the game. But anyways, uh, I'm clean bulking, you know? Trying to keep it clean. See if I can keep it lean. But in the gym, I'm gonna get mean. I'm not gonna be in pristine. I'm taking every single weight and I'm crushing it down to the green. Let me stop now. I'm, I'm, episode one. Episode one. Let's do it. Preview.
Here's breakfast. 60 grams of oatmeal, three veggie sausages, and one whole apple. This is what we're getting into. It's officially bulk season, which means it is time to synthesize and build new muscle tissue. Who's bulking with me? If you're bulking, like this video, pause the video, and comment down below. Gain city, because it's time for us to build some muscle mass, man. Or if you're tired of being skinny, you need to watch these episodes because I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of pro tips on how to bulk, how to make bulking easier, and how to have a successful bulk, all right? So, and I'm just gonna take you guys with me, man. So walk with me, guys, walk with me. Like I said, it's get big season. It's bulk season, which means I have to eat. <laughs> a lot of guys tell me I eat so much food, but I can't gain any weight. It's my metabolism, it's my metabolism. Of course, it's your metabolism. Your metabolism is the rate at which you utilize calories for energy. Some people have a fast metabolic rate, some people have a slow metabolic rate. If your metabolic rate is fast, if you're burning through calories really fast, then you need to just eat more. There's no way around it, guys. There are ways to make getting in your calories easier by the way of shakes, because they're digested and absorbed quicker because your body doesn't have to break them down and emulsify them in comparison to eating whole foods but you still got to get the calories in. You have to get these calories in, man, All right? Not only do you need calories to sustain your body weight, but you also need additional calories to synthesize and put together molecules to make cells and put together cells and extracellular matrix to make tissue, all right? You need much more calories. And you also need to be in an anabolic environment, which comes from much more calories in combination with sleep, good training. On a daily, it's episode one, operation 160. That's my goal, weight 160, guys, I'm currently 140. The time span to get there is gonna be between eight to 10 months. I may book through the summer, I may not. But like I said, it's time to get to 160 and you have to focus on the day ahead of you. I'm focused on today, you should be as well. You go to sleep feeling accomplished, feeling satisfied. Temporarily, you wake up and you're determined again. You're like a lion trying to rip a gazelle's head off. That's how you should be every single day. Not only when it comes to bulking, but when it comes to the world outside of the gym. Oatmeal with a Splenda, it's A1. Please just give it a try. <clears throat> Amazing. Set number dos. 
Let's get it. I need at least eight. Live action, y'all. Live action. Go with to get stronger, man. I don't work out to be weak. I work out to get stronger. To transcend. Aye. Aye. rate of perceived exertion on a 10 out of 10 man that means that I had nothing left in the tank I could not get one more rep no matter how much my life depended on it so what that means I'm gonna have to drop the weight 10% and finish off my last set with lighter weight guys you're not gonna get stronger every single session the goal is to get stronger every single session but actually in real life realistically it's not gonna happen, guys. Unless you're on that dreamer bulk. But still, shit, this is gonna be linear every single session, man. If that was the case, we'd be all be deadlifting, thousand pounds, stuff like that. Anyways, dropping the weight for the last set. Be smart. Set number two. <laughs> One sixty five should be easy eight. I dropped the weight down ten percent. to campus, to the library to get some work done before class, a snack, that's the banana. Purchase any syrup, definitely go with the carry syrup. Sugar free. Quick oats, two for four. And the healthiest source of carbs you can have, guys. Quick oats. Pro tip, guys, when you're getting chicken breasts, always look for the price per pound. Price per pound. The cheapest price per pound is the best chicken breast if you want to save money. No more class for the day. Now it's time for some grooming. Let me give me a shape up. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Looking kind of fresh, looking kind of fresh. 
Got the fresh tape up. You look good, you feel good, baby. Remember that. Always take care of yourself.